Hello everyone, this is Darsonovia here, and this is a video about leaving toxic groups and how it could be very difficult to leave them, but once you leave them, it's liberating. Now, I'm just speaking from my experience of toxic groups because I've been part of many toxic groups. They're bad for you. I know from experience, they make you feel negative, they make you feel angry, and especially when you're part of a fandom as toxic and reactionary as Star Wars, where it feels like you're battling every single Star Wars fan on everything. On your cred as a fan, liking some, you know, liking something, you know, that they don't like, or simply your opinion matters less because you, where you um, lie politically, the complete hypocrisy. The fan base being completely okay when you, you know, call out, you know, people they don't like, but when you do the same to the people they like, they lose their shit. And honestly, Leaving this sort of environment is very t t difficult. I was part of an of the EU movement, as you all know, and it was toxic. It still is, but I'm from my experience in being in the group, it was very toxic. They don't value other people's opinions. They don't listen to what other people have to say, nor do they care what other people have to say. EU gate is the prime example of this. It's a movement not really about continuing the EU. It's more about people's egos. The EU movement was doomed from the very beginning. And when I was a part of this toxic group, I couldn't see just how bad the movement truly was until I stepped back and saw what the movement you know, has had become. And when you're part of a toxic group, you don't realize that, that it's toxic. Until you actually look, think about it and look at it after the fact. And I w dealt with some pretty toxic people. And I'm pretty sure they are watching this video. And they, and they themselves won't acknowledge that they're toxic, but they are. It's one of the reasons why I'm no longer part of the anime fandom either. Because the anime fandom is a toxic, you know cesspool full of 4chan trolls and people that are have questionable you know views Be, you have people who push the the JQ and none, none of these anime fans have a problem with that and due to, to their reactionary nature of the anime community I walked away in fact, they're the reason why I ha I'm not really into anime these days. Because there's so many freaking awful fucking people in this freaking you know, community that I don't want to be part of it. It's a toxic cesspool of reactionary man children. The same thing could be said for the gaming community. I used to be big, a big part of that too. But again, it's a reactionary cesspool. You know... You have a bunch of man children that complain about the gaming industry, yet they so they still support it uncritically. They don't actually ask questions. Why are are these you know games having all these problems? They don't actually. When you bring up anything regarding work conditions, they say stop getting political, and that's where I'm about to get to. I think forcing a political ism on people's throat it's very toxic because you're basically telling people to shut the fuck up and don't say anything you're essentially telling people you know shut up just entertain me don't actually you know t speak your mind i don't view you as a human being that sort of thing and i think that's very toxic because i think if you treat your content creators that provide you with the with the entertainment that you 
you know, enjoy and you don't even think of them as human, I think you're a toxic person because people like myself, I'm a content creator. I have opinions and I feel like I shouldn't have to cater to a bunch of reactionary man children. And in fact, my channel doesn't, you know, cater to them. I am not obsessed with views either. The only thing I care about is just doing stuff I enjoy doing. And this isn't a echo chamber for those who, you know, want to control the, the conversation. Because that's the, what apoliticalism is. Forcing people to be apolitical or is basically controlling the conversation. Not letting people actually speak their mind. And ironically, those who push apoliticalism are those who actually talk about politics the most, which is ironic. If you are around these kind of people that are telling you, stop being political, stop you know, speaking your mind, then you're in a toxic group. These are not the kind of people you want to be around. I know this through personal experience. When I think about it in retrospect, it was a good thing that I left these groups. I'm free. I could speak my mind. I don't have to be, constantly walk on eggshells. Egg yeah, there is there are is a time and place where maybe politics shouldn't be brought up. Like if in a fan group, yeah, that that's probably one of the few exceptions. Yeah, you know, where maybe you should try to keep things as apolitical as possible just so people can enjoy stuff together. But if you're in your own group, you know, or if you're in your own YouTube channel, I don't think that should be the case. I think you should be able to say what you want and do what you want because it's your channel. And if people don't like the fact that you give your own political opinions, you know, every now and then, then those are not the kind of people you want to be around. Cut yourself off from these toxic people. They're only holding you back from you know, doing things that you want to do. This is Darcinovia, over and out. Thank you.